this is raw status, status thumbs up welcome to our new subscribers um before i get started wanted to point out if you've seen some duplicate uploads had some editing issues and had to re-upload so bear with us with the duplication there and thank you for your patience so we had this white supremacist group patriot front march through boston flexing their arm muscles when they haven't done any curls apparently not even a push-up it looks like Saturday July 2nd now notice how there's no police anywhere near these people you'll see more cops at a black funeral at a black wedding at a black elementary school graduation so we believe that they are connected with law enforcement and there's a few things going on here. Uh, shout out to Blue Boat Sports who pointed out yesterday the the bias and the the difference in coverage and treatment of these white mass murderers versus black people that are motorists that commit an alleged traffic offense as in Akron, Ohio, where the young brother was shot 60 times versus these mass murderers that are handled with kids gloves that are allowed to get down on the ground at their leisure. And that brings me to this as well as the media bias. And that brings me to this. Now, here's the issue. This is from the Boston Herald. I want you all to read this. July 2nd, a fight breaks out as the white supremacist group, the Patriot Front, marches through the city of Boston on July 2nd, 2022. Now, that's the gentleman that they attacked. Going to blow that up just a little bit. A fight breaks out. A fight. Now, there's one black person and one, two, three, four, five pictured. Make that six. I'm sorry, seven, eight. And that could be nine. One or nine. That's not a fight. That's an attack. That's a jump. That's attempted murder. So again, we see the difference in the way that these white supremacist controlled media outlets refer to to terrorist attacks against the black people. Now let that have been a Chinese dude and a bunch of Crips. They would have had the SWAT team out there. Rambo would have come in on a helicopter with an M14. They would have went and arrested every 12 and 13 year old black kid on the, on the block. And they would have shot the three year olds. But we expect this difference because warfare takes on many different forms the Boston Herald is apparently as in on the white supremacist campaign against not only black people but decency in general as the KKK now apparently the gentleman that was attacked is one of these black people out here that feel the need to have a dialogue or to try to unlock the good and white supremacist terrorists go around having conversations with people. I believe that's something to the effect of what happened here. If anybody knows more, leave it in the box, but no, that's not it. And yeah, like they tell a boxer, protect yourself at all times. But notice the difference in reporting. Notice that the Hyde, that the Highland Park shooter was not shot. Neither was the Buffalo Mass shooter. They take them alive because they see themselves in them. They're working together. So leave your comments in the box. Let me know what you think. The point is while we have Asian hate crime bills and entire sports leagues like the NFL and the NBA and entire news channels like ABC and politicians talking about Asian this and Asian that, but zero legislative protection for black people specifically. Why? Because the government low-key supports these types of groups. So Boston, the hometown of Marky Mark and Donnie Donnie, the Wahlbergs, a couple of suspected white supremacists. I met Mark Wahlberg once. He was a complete and total Richard Head. 
hit that thumbs up. Boston. The Boston Herald is apparently in on this white supremacist terrorist demonstration. As is much of the white supremacist controlled corporate media. Collusion. These dirty varmint. These maggots. These stinky people. Racial warfare. They're doing their part to advance the campaign of the white supremacists. Even if it's something that appears to be as small as calling an attack on a man a fight. A fight. I mean, what is this super black guy? Super Negro. He can take on nine white supremacists in a single bound. Hit that thumbs up. Again, this is nothing surprising. But let's lay it out here so we know what to look for. The media, the police, the regular white supremacists, the police departments, and these irregular face-covered white supremacist terrorist cells. Not to mention the entertainment business and all other areas of human activity. So just a message to this guy and anyone else that thinks like him. Kumbaya, holding hands, singing Ring Around the Rosy. Ironically, a song about the plague in Europe isn't going to stop a darn thing. It'll just make you look weak. And to a coward, weakness means opportunity. But the Boston Herald Well, consider the first name, the Boston Herald, a city apparently in full support of white supremacy. Now, they have this Asian mayor. We're talking about hate crimes. They should have been charged with a hate crime for this. But we know the deal. Because the court system, the area of justice The human activity area of justice is also under full control of the white supremacists. Something that we must change. This is Raw Status Status TV.